Uncle Chief, and the Barbers. Those are boys, Willie and Riley, Wolf, were in trouble again. Now they were on the border. Everyone caught on their tails. myself saying I hear the metal, perhaps we should all jump the fence. Yes, let's all jump the fence. I say you why not live a little while you've got a chance. The two young Louise 
were about to take the leap, but toppled Betty Martin held her ground. Now just a minute, I knew the peep sheep, I grazed with the peep sheep, I counted with the peep sheep, and you two don't leap like peep sheep. Why, Walter, what big eyes you have! excuse for those lousy looking coats. If you ask me, your wool looks like cheap for keep sheep. There isn't three bags full for either one of you. What's with your two ewes? Uh, it's the humidity. You know what, how wool gets in this is damp weather. You, we can't do a thing with it. Humidity, huh? Well, then, this is your lucky day, girls. We can help you with that. Follow me. Betty pointed Wong, Walna, and Walda to the end of the long line of sheep standing two by two. William Wally would like to see the lamb chops right in front of them in planning a menu. We sure pulled the wool over their eyes. Indeed, we did. a cold shave that like that. Wait. For the hair to grow back? <laughs> 